Hi, I'm Sam and I'd like to explain you how to climb a highline leash. So first of all, I've set a highline on about three meters height. It's not really a highline, it's just a training line so that I can learn how to get up there. The leash, I've taken a climbing rope and I've threaded it with an additional tubular slack line. The advantage to have such a rope is that it's easier to hold. It's, it's less painful if you, if you pull yourself up. Okay, now I've prepared it the way that I have a figure eight up there, clipped in in two rings, like it's not on a normal high line. And down here, I also have a figure eight knot. Now I clip myself in with a carabiner. Normally, if you don't feel safe, if it's your first time, it would be better to stand on a chair first. If I would fall, without any control, then I would hit the ground now. So it's better to start half a meter higher, but as I don't have a chair right here, I make it without and I feel really safe, because I've done it a lot of times. Okay, to climb the leash now, I first sit into the leash and I lean backwards. Now I have to put my foot here, just beside the knot. And I pull it down a bit with my hand, and I hold the leash just above the foot. That gives me an additional lever to pull myself up. Now I climb up with my hands and I always put some pressure onto the foot. Until I'm high enough to really sit on the foot. After this I also have a knot up here to additionally hold me. So I show it again. Okay, now I can hold myself on the high line and if I don't have enough body tension I can walk on with my feet until I can clip in one foot on the high line. So this is the starting position to then turn over the line. What I've done now is something that's actually dangerous for real highlining. I've used the carabiner to clip myself into the leash. I've just made that to make it easier not to hang myself into this leash. 